Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. It is October 17th, and as you can see, I got a hole in the greenhouse. This is not from wind or weather. It's just kind of deteriorated. This has been almost two years, 10 days short of two years since I finished this project. Now I've cut it loose down here at the bottom. We're going to uh, replace this. Now this was Lowe's uh, constr construction uh, poly and I don't recommend it. It does lower the light transmission, but it also uh, doesn't last very long, two years. So anyway, we've got some uh, great stuff that we're going to be putting back in place, and we're going to do a little modification, make it easier each time we replace it. Okay, the old piece is off of there. Now, this has already been uh, kind of treated where any joints or anything's been taped and you could see all that in when I originally built this but now uh, what what we're installing is a channel for w wiggle wire because we're going to make this where it's going to be easy to replace the next time I have some of this extra from uh, my big greenhouse install so then I'll probably have to pick up a few more pieces because I'm going to add it in some other places but uh, that, that'll give you a good idea of, of uh, where we're at at this point. When you're installing this channel, now I have wood behind here, it's two by four. So I'm using a wood uh, screw. This is something similar you'd use to a metal roof or something. It, it's got a dr drill point on it that would drill through aluminum just fine. And then it's got a good aggressive uh, thread that would take and, and hold good on the wood. Now if you're doing to a metal, which there's a metal pipe here, if I didn't have this frame on the end to, to structure it that way, then I would go straight to the metal and I'd use a, a self-drilling screw, which looks a little bit different, but it's made for drilling through metal. But I'll show you, it's just a matter of, uh, when I do this, I'll screw it on the end and then I'll bend my piece down and then I put a screw about every foot on here and that's all it is to it okay in order to put this greenhouse uh, fabric over it this poly we throw a rope over I just use a nut to help bring it over now you can use a golf ball, probably be better, but being I don't have a golf ball, we're going to use a baseball. And what we're going to do is, we're just going to put this baseball at the corner. We're going to wrap this rope around here a couple of times. And we're just going to tie a knot. And what this is going to do is help us to, to pull this uh, fabric over the top. Okay, and then you're just going to kind of pull it over the top and Hard to do this one-handed uh, But we're just going to keep pulling it until we get it Draped over now when you install your plastic or your poly You want to make sure that you have the right side facing out now that might sound funny, but uh, a lot of this is marked and it says this side in like right here it says this side in and that the reason for that is is the way it's designed and i think maybe for to to keep it clean longer and maybe the uv protection being better uh you need to install it the right direction but anyway let me get after it you get it kind of in position now what i've done is i've taken and i've Fasten that one down solid. I kind of got it squared up pretty much. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it kind of tight. And I've got this wiggle wire. And what I'm going to do is, they call it wiggle wire because basically you're just wiggling it back and forth into the groove. And this is what holds it down. This is a much easier way than, than previously where I uh, screwed the strips. But... You know, I just didn't have this at that time. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm 
temporarily fastening this top and then I'll make sure I do the, the bottom edges too because there's just a slight breeze. You don't want to do this when it's windy, but uh, like right now I have to uh, deal with it. So uh, I want to make sure that I don't end up having to fight it, you know, like the wind pick up an edge and, and blow it around if it does pick up a little bit more. Okay. I, I have this secured all the way at this end, and like I say, I pulled it tight at the top and kind of held it. But you see these waves in here. Now, this is always best if you do this uh, whenever it's uh, warm out and the sun's out. Now, I've closed one end of the greenhouse to maybe get some extra heat because you want to be able to take this slack out and have it nice and tight. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this wiggle wire back out on this end. And I'll take it out just as far as I think I have to, where those waves seem to start up here. And that might be pretty close. And what I'm going to do, you can see I just pull this a little bit, and this is going to take these out. And what I'm going to try to do now is put this wiggle wire back in here. While I hold a little bit of tension on here to get this back into place and when it's warm of course the the heat will expand it a little bit and it helps you out but uh it's kind of a cool day it's in the 60s right now uh the sun is hiding behind the clouds and so it's not the best day or the best uh to be conducive to uh putting greenhouse plastic on but but we're not going to worry about that because our whole idea is uh, we got to get this done now as we go back down Got a screw right in the way of putting that one in there. Had a crescent wrench here a while ago. Might help out just a little bit. I'm gonna close it down, but see if what almost. And we got that that in there. So now you can see how much uh, better it looks. Now we're going to continue uh, try to get the rest of this side done, and then we'll work and get the the other side. And we'll pull out as much as we can. But if it's a little bit of slack, it's just going to be there. Things are back pretty much to normal, all but uh, putting the crank handle back on. Uh, but you can see actually see plants inside where versus the old uh, covering I never did really like it but you know with the options that I had at the time uh, that's the way I went now with the new covering I won't have this problem with my my transplants see, even though they're out in the sun they seem to want to try to grow uh, grab for light uh, my onions, even though they've had uh, fish emulsion, they still seem a little pale because they're not getting quite enough sunlight. So this ought to help a lot. This this greenhouse is not going to, or if you want to call it high tunnel or whatever, this one is not going to get, have shade cloth on it from here on out. It's going to be uh, more of just protection from uh, the the wind and and uh, somewhat from the cool. Keep it a little bit warmer. Uh, you know in in the cooler months because uh, With the Sun coming in it can it can trap a whole lot of heat in the morning time And one thing I want to stress if you're going to do a job and especially if you're going to replace your uh, Poly on your greenhouse Don't go with the stuff that's guaranteed for a year because you're going to be lucky. You're going to get two years out of it now. This is uh, guaranteed for four years and Usually on average you ought to get about six years out of it. So uh, That's just another note And there we go a wonderful repair job on our DIY 
greenhouse and hopefully this ought to last for uh, quite a few more years than than that first one and I think the plants will be happier but anyway if you want to see more of my videos well of course hit that subscribe button hit the bell so you'll be sure to be notified give it a big thumbs up and share this video it really helps my channel happy gardening